Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigan. In today's video, we are going to solve one very, very interesting question from radical equations. Our equation is fourth root of 68 minus x square equal to square root 18 minus square root x. And we are looking for real solutions. So let's get started. Here we have square root x. So I can write our answer x must be positive for sure. Now we can take minus root x to the LHS. So we can write fourth root of 68 minus x square plus square root of x equal to square root of 18. Or we can write fourth root of 68 minus x square plus square root x we can write fourth root of x square equal to square root 18. Now we can use our substitutions. First radicand we will consider a power 4 as we have fourth root. x square we can consider b power 4. So our equation will become fourth root of a power 4 plus fourth root of b power 4 equal to square root 18 fourth root power 4 will be over we will get first equation a plus b equal to square root 18 equation 1 now i will write a power 4 this is equal to 68 minus x square b power 4 this is equal to x square Let's add both. So I can write a power 4 plus b power 4 plus and minus x square will be cancelled out 68. And I will call this is our equation number 2. Now let us assume ab equal to m. I will write here a plus b equal to square root 18 with a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 68 and we have considered a b equal to m. Now I will consider squaring of equation 1. So a plus b whole square equal to square root 18 whole square. So square root and square will be cancelled out. Now I can write LHS as a square plus b square plus 2ab equal to 18. Now ab is m as per our substitution. So I can write a square plus b square plus 2m equal to 18. Now subtract 2m from both sides we will get a square plus b square equal to 2 times 9 minus m. Now we have our equation a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 68. So I will consider squaring once again to this equation. Let's put power 2 and this side also power 2. Now we can apply a plus b whole square a square whole square a power 4 b square whole square b power 4 plus 2 a square b square and rhs will become 2 square is 4 9 minus m whole square so i can write 81 plus m square minus 18 m now i can write a power 4 plus b power 4 this is 68 plus 2 times ab is m so a square b square will be m square 4 times i will write m square minus 18m plus 81 now equation is looking divisible by 2 let's divide 34 plus m square will be equal to 2 times m square minus 18m plus 81 or we can write 34 plus 
एम स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू एम स्क्वायर माइनस थर्टी सिक्स एम प्लस वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी टू टेक ऑल द टर्म्स टू आर एच एस सो वी कैन राइट एम स्क्वायर माइनस थर्टी सिक्स एम प्लस वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट इक्वल टू जीरो Now we can factor 128 as 32 times 4. So I can split our middle term as minus 4m minus 32m plus 128 equal to zero. Now from first two terms m is common, m minus 4 will be in the bracket. From last two minus 32 is common. M minus four in the bracket equal to zero. So we can write M minus four times M minus thirty-two equal to zero. So M minus four will be zero, or M minus thirty-two will be equal to zero. So we will collect M equal to four and M equal to thirty-two. Now M was our substitution. M was AB. So I can write AB will be equal to four and thirty-two. Let us write AB equal to four and AB equal to thirty-two. Now we have our first equation: A plus B equal to square root eighteen. A plus B equal to square root 18. So we can frame two systems. Let us consider one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b. Then this is product of roots, sum of roots, product of roots, sum of roots. We can write quadratic in b itself. So I will be writing here b square minus sum of roots, which is root 18. Times b plus product of roots plus four equal to zero. First quadratic equation and second equation will come from second system b square minus sum of roots so root eighteen b plus product of roots thirty two equal to zero. Let's solve both the quadratic equations one by one. So I am going to use the quadratic formula minus b, so a square root 18 plus minus a square root of b square, so 18 minus 4ac, 4 times 4, 16 over 2 times 1, so 2. Or we can write root 18 plus minus a square root 2 over 2. Square root 18 can be written as 3 square root 2 plus minus root 2 over 2. With plus sign, this will become 4 root 2 over 2. With minus sign, 2 root 2 over 2. So we have two values of b. First one is 2 square root 2, and second one is square root 2. Root 2, 2 root 2. Now the turn of second quadratic equation. Let us write here b square minus square root 18b plus 32 equal to zero. Now I will check only the discriminant value b square minus 4ac. So I will write square root 18 with negative sign whole square minus 4 times 1 times 32. So this will become 18 minus 4 times 32 is 128. So we will get discriminant negative 110. As our discriminant is negative, we will get complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation as we are looking for real solutions. So the accepted b values. If I will write, then b equal to square root two and two square root two. Now our substitution was 
b power 4 was x square. So let us calculate b power 4. So I will write root 2 whole power 4 and 2 root 2 whole power 4. So root 2 times root 2, 2, root 2 times root 2, 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So here I will be writing 4. 2 power 4 is 16, root 2 power 4 is 4. 16 times 4 is 64. Now instead of b power 4, we can write x square. Now we will take a square root both sides. We will collect x equal to plus minus 2 and plus minus 8. Now condition on x was x must be positive. So accepted x would be positive only. We will write 2 and 8. So there will be two real solutions. Let's cross examine. I will write here check. And I will write here x equal to 2. So LHS we can write as 4th root of 68 minus x square. So 2 square will be 4. This should be equal to square root 18 minus square root 2. Which is equal to 3 root 2 minus root 2. So ultimate RHS is 2 square root 2. LHS is 4th root of 64. Now we know that 64 is 8 square. So I can write here a square root of 8 and a square root of 8 is 2 root 2. So LHS is 2 root 2. RHS is also 2 root 2. Hence this is true solution. Now our second solution x equal to 8. Let's write LHS. So, fourth root of 68 minus 8 square is 64. And RHS will be 3 root 2 as a square root 18 minus root 8. Now, I can write 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2. So, RHS is root 2 this time. LHS is fourth root of 4, which is a square root of 2. So LHS is square root 2, RHS is square root 2. This solution is also verified. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care.